Hi everyone, it's Michelle here, and I wanted to share with you an album that I just created. Um, it is a baby boy album, and I made it using the Stamperia baby boy paper, which was really cute. They had little um, numbers and circles, if you could see there, and you'll see it throughout the album. But it has a 1 through 12 and then the 1 year. So on this one, I did one page per month. Um, it's not as many pages as the little girl album that I just showed you guys, because that one was really, really long. Um, it is, oh, I also did in the front here, I have some Maja design paper just kind of threw in um, underneath here uh, really cute uh, part of their baby collection and then on the front I have um, some pages stitched in um, I have some little flowers here and the little teddy bear button which I also used in the baby girl album and I have those throughout the pages it um, I get them from Walmart's all right, and this is a fabric album. Um, what I did is I had the little stars here on the front, and then on the spine here, um, I used a different uh, type of paper, uh, fabric, and then on the back, I went back with the stars. Um, it is a soft uh, double binding, and it is completely stitched. And I have a total of five pages. The uh, pages are chipboard, and the edges of the chipboard are wrapped in fabric. Try and give it a little bit of a cleaner look. And then I just have some um, fabric uh, closure here. Ribbon. Thank you. I couldn't think of the name. Okay, for our first page. Um, we start with number one, and of course you can see the fabric um, where I stitched in. Now I did take some paper and cover over my stitching. I had decided to use, I got the little We Are Memory Keepers uh, sewing machine, and it uses a really thick um, thread in it with a thicker needle. But it was really it was really hard to keep straight, so I didn't like that my stitches were not completely straight. So I did end up covering covering them up um, with a little bit of the paper stock, and maybe next time it'll come out a little bit better. All right, so we have month one, and we have one of the little teddy bears, some ribbon, and then this one has a ribbon closure. And then this opens out and then we have a little cut apart here and then these were also in the paper collection um, you can cut out these little envelopes they had quite a few different sizes and then I threw in a couple little cut aparts where you can do some journaling or add a picture And of course you can add photos here and photos on this side also okay on our next page I made a little um, shaker box and this one also has a ribbon closure and of course you can see the little shaker box here and this is for month two and then I just have this little baby, oh, there we go, cut apart with the edge open and a little tag is just stuck in behind there. And then we have our fold outs. Oh, that one kind of stuck there. And I just left the back so y'all can add uh, your own pictures. Okay, and then our next page, 
Um, we have Moth 3 with another one little teddy bears and some ribbon and some flowers. Um, we have this little bobby pin or paper, I don't know, diaper pin closure. And on this one, let's see if you can see, um, I put, I took these cutouts and I put little circles so it kind of gives it a mobile effect. And then each side has a different picture on it. And then we have a couple of fold outs. And then I just threw some of the paper cut aparts that were left over so you can add, uh, add your photos inside. All right, our next page we have for month number four. And a, a couple more of the pin closures. Then this one folds up. Then this one folds to the side. Then you could do some journaling or add a, pe a photo on top of there. And then I have more little photo mats including, included inside here. Then we have next for month number five, we have a swing tab here, and then it opens up. Sorry, I think my radio just got really loud for some reason. And then we have a large pocket here, and here's another one of the little envelopes that I was telling you about, with the little cutout inside. And lots of photo mats in this one. All right, next page uh, for month number six. Oops, all right, where am I going here? Um, we have a ribbon closure. All right, that radio is bugging me. Hold on just one second. Sorry about that. Okay. And then, like I said, we have a waterfall. And you can add photos here on the bottom. Alright. The next page for month seven. We have a pin closure. And then this is open here. You can tuck something behind it if you wish and then this is open up here you can tuck something underneath the number seven and then this whole part flips up and then photos here and then it flips open and then I made a little pocket here and tuck some more of the photo mats inside For month number eight, we have another pin closure that goes to the side, and then another, and then one down, another little pocket, and this one I have some tags and a couple of little cut aparts there. And then for page for month number nine, we have a swing tab. Um, here's one of the cut aparts, and I left it where you can put this little tag inside there. And this swings out to the side. This one I, is a photo mat that I put inside. And then both of these swing out, and you have lots of rooms for photos back here. Month number 10, we have a little ribbon closure, and you can do journaling or photos here. And that just folds out. Um, you could put photos or journaling here, and then I left one large page for large pictures. 
And for moth number 11, um, what I did here is I have a large pocket. Then I made this to keep this from opening where you could journal and put photos here. And then I just left this little cut apart and put it behind it and it keeps it from opening. And then I have lots of photo mats. We have a tag here and which you could use for like a little bookmark. And for our final one year page, um, I have a little pocket here and I made another one of the shaker, like a little tag, using one of the cut aparts in the center. And then I had a lot of these little cutouts from the paper collection that were really cute. And again, we have our one year sticker with our teddy bear. And then we have a swing tap here. And whoops, sorry. And this one opens so you could journal or put smaller photos throughout here, and then a large page for multiple photos there. So that is the Baby Boy album, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if y'all uh, have any questions, just leave a comment below, and um, I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.